Hi, my name is Astrid Longhurst and I'm the founder of the Institute for Body Confidence Coaching and I'm also a life and body confidence coach and author of my new book, Romancing Your Body, How to Fall Deeply, Passionately and Wildly in Love with Your Body and Your Life. And I just wanted to share, just take this time just to share a little bit about that uh, with you and a little bit about my story because for me this matters so, so much you know, living well and living our best lives and being who we authentically are is at the root of living a happy, not perfect, but a happy, a happier life, a more content life, a life that you, you know how to ride the waves that are really, really, you know, strong and, you know, pounding into the shore. We know how to navigate life and Romancing Your Body was written from my own journey. Of, and, and this journey of learning to love and accept me and, and learning how to show up in my life, learning how to take care of me learn, and most of all learning how to keep my own promises. And I broke my own promises again and again and again and again. And my diaries, I've, I've kept a diary since I was around 12 years old. And my diaries, when I read back on them, it's extraordinary because they're all full of the same things. Tomorrow I'll begin another diet. All of the, It was all about my body, how fat I was, how unable I was to do the things that I wanted. I couldn't dance because I was too fat. You know, it's ridiculous. Of course we can. Um, I couldn't go out to a party because everybody would laugh at me because I was too fat. Really? You know, the, 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 my friends at the party, any time I actually managed to get to a party, I just said, oh, it's lovely to see you, thank you for coming. That's what it's really about. But I think for so many of us, when we live in um, that feeling of not feeling good enough, we hold ourselves back in our life. We keep ourselves sort of living on the edges of our life and the edges of our bodies. We, we don't really, we're kind of waiting for life to begin. And I, I don't know, but you know, there was, I've always had this passion to live to really be alive whilst I am alive. And that's been my struggle, that's been my journey. How do you do that? How do you live fully? Um, and especially, how do you live fully when things are not going well? How do you look in the mirror and, and learn to love what you see? How do you respect who you are? How do you learn to turn what, what we've so, so often thought of as failure into feedback? Oh, I did that didn't work? Okay, well, well done me for trying. I'll find another way to do that. You know, but for so often for me, every time something didn't work, I'd just give up. You know, oh well, that didn't work, I, who cares? Who, you know, who, nobody's interested. You know, what I was really saying was I'm not interested, but I was. And you know, for me as a coach, this is what matters. It, you know, it really matters that we all learn how to live our most, um, our best life. And each, each of each of what, what that means is that it's going to be different for each one of us. And there is no rule book that can show you the right way for that. But there are books, wonderful books, wonderful programs. Romancing Your Body is one of them. But that can point you with guidelines and say, have a look at this. Have a think about this. Um, what if you asked yourself this question? Take some time with you. Find out who you really are. What is it, for instance, like for me, what, you know, I always struggled with food. You know, I went through um, so many different kinds of eating disorders. I never knew quite how to eat. And, you know, I was either on a diet or off a diet or feeling guilty about food or running to food to try and numb what I was feeling. Um, these days, um, oh, gosh, I just love food. Um, but it's a love that's really, it's really healthy. I just listen to my body and I eat when I'm hungry and I eat what makes me feel healthy and alive and I eat in accordance to my, my values as well. I eat, I eat with love and kindness and that's made a phenomenal difference. But it's not just about food, you know, that's just part of the body journey. If you've, if you've ever struggled with your weight or you, you or feeling bad about yourself, that's just, a, that's just a part of it. It's much, much more than that. It's really, it's really about... Who are you? What do you want? I mean, these are some of the most powerful coaching questions. You know, what do you want? Who are you? What is your, what is your life about? What matters? And I think when you start to ask those questions and you can, you can start to kind of get a, even a tiny little bit of an answer, it starts pointing you to what's, what is called your true north. I love that. You know, wow, I'm on, I'm on track with, with my heart my dreams, my desires, my wishes. 
and to get ourselves out of the way, to get the other self that is full of doubt and fear and anxiety and, and stress and worry. And the mind goes off into the worries. What if this doesn't happen? What if, what if somebody thinks it's stupid? What if somebody laughs at me? What if I can't do it? What if, what if, what if? And it leaves us constantly living in the future. And of course, the mind can't live in the future. Our bodies can't live in the future. The only, the only place that any of us can live is right here and right now. And so, you know, a lot of my work is about helping people to come back. And I call it coming back home. Come back to you. You've got it all. You're amazing. Right here and right now, you have everything you need. You know, and it's just accessing that. For me, it's accessing that. There's nothing to find. It's all within you. You just have to, you know, push aside, take aside the stuff that has been getting in the way. And that's usually not your stuff. It's stuff from the past. It's stuff that was given to you. It's stuff that you've picked up and you're still believing and you're still acting as if that's true. So I love my, I love my work and I'm passionate about helping other people to um, find tools that are useful. Um, you know, really, really develop a great relationship with yourself. Like yourself. Be willing to be open to you. Be, be, extraordinarily happy that you've made a mistake because quite honestly in my book if you get to make a mistake well you've tried you've tried something you've got up and you've gone out there and you've put yourself out there that's phenomenal you know especially coming from I mean like for me you know I would hold I wouldn't do that I was far too scared to do that and I kept thinking well what if it doesn't work what if nobody likes it what if uh, what if it all goes wrong well so what I I've tried and, you know, to be able to say that to yourself, to be able to say, I, I'm so proud of me, I tried. I gave it a shot, it didn't work. That's brilliant, I gave it a shot. Focus on that, I gave it a shot. Wow, yes you did. Isn't that what matters, that we get up every day and we give it our best shot? You know, I think, I, I think you know, before I, I, I mean, I could talk for, for hours, I, I won't. Uh, but <laughs> I just get so passionate about this because it's... Oh, well, it's what I do, but it's more than what I do. It's who I am. And because I, I suppose, because from a personal level, I've lived this, it, it, it matters so much. And I, I, I think I got to a point in my own life when I just thought, you know, I, as I said, I wanted to feel alive whilst I am alive. I want to be here for all of the moments. I, I'm 57 now, and I feel like in many ways that I'm just beginning, you know, um, and I am. Every day is a beginning. I feel more alive now, perhaps, than I ever did in my 20s. Um, and that's extraordinary. You know, that is extraordinary. In my 20s, I, I mean, I loved doing what I did, which was dancing and teaching. I loved that. That's where I felt really, really um, at my best. You know, and I was sweating it out in a, a dance studio, and we were all just um, whooping and hollering and working our bodies. That was fantastic, the energy of that. You know, and we, it didn't matter what any of us were like. We were just... Um, we were just all coming together, the music was loud, we were just um, working out to the beat and we all left feeling fabulous. I, you know, I loved those days. Whoa, wonderful. Um, so those were the places that I felt probably the most me. But away from the dancing, away from the movement, there was always that sort of, you know, tr desperately trying to, you know, lose more weight, uh, drive myself, push myself. I've got to work harder. I've got to be better. I've got to do more. Um, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff, because, you know, ultimately it's about, you enjoy, enjoy what you do, enjoy where you are, otherwise the moments of our lives have gone. You know, no, when we look back, you know, you can imagine we've, it's on our last day in this planet, this beautiful earth that we're so privileged to, to live, live in, live on, you know, and we look back, you know, we're not going to say, you know, I, I wish I'd spent more time being grumpy. I wish I'd spent more time worrying about the, the, you know, what might happen. I wish I'd spent more time, um, you know, uh, uh, doing a job I didn't love. I wish I'd spent more time doing the stuff we didn't love, being with people that don't enthrall or excite us. Really, we're not. We're gonna. We're not going. We're gonna say, "Oh my gosh, I wish I'd spent more time loving myself. I wish I'd spent more time actually loving the people I loved and and really being present for them, really listening to them, really laughing with them instead of judging, criticizing, complaining about them." When you when you strip it all back, that's what it's about. It's about this experience called life. It is not, you know. It's not a rehearsal. In my dance classes and in my workouts, one of the things I always used to say was, you know, like, this is not a rehearsal. Do it. Live it. Like in every single movement we made, it was like, pow, do it, do it, do it. You know, put everything you've got into that movement right here, right now, because that movement won't come again. 
This moment won't come again. So where are you if you're not here? Woo! Goodness. <laughs> I will stop now. I really will. I'll stop now. But I just, you know, it's so, it's so important. You know, and I think, you know, growing older is a privilege. As I say, at, at 57 now, whoa, I'm not winding down or, or thinking about, you know, pulling things in or it's over. If anything, I just feel more alive and more excited and a sense of beautiful, wild freedom that seems to bubble up from my heart and into my words and into my coaching and into the people that I meet every single day of my life. I just adore life and I adore people and I think we're just all phenomenal. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for, for listening to me. And um, if, um, if I can help in any way, shape or form, please do get in contact. Uh, probably the easiest way to do that is through my website. And my personal website is www.astridlonghurst.com and my uh, body confidence coach training, I teach um, and I, I teach a training program how to become a body confidence coach and uh, give uh, support and, uh, you know, really so that this, this work grows. But that website is www.instituteforbodyconfidencecoaching.com. So thank you again for listening to me. Uh, Live today well, live this moment well, step forward in your own life um, and get the book, pass it on. And if you love it, I'd be so grateful if you leave a positive comment. That would be fantastic. Um, but more than, more than that, it's about really passing this message on, helping other people to read something that inspires and also shows them how to make positive changes in their life. So the book is Romancing Your Body and it's out on Kindle now. And as I said, if there's any way that I can help, um, I would love to. It would be an honour. So um, thank you again. Bye-bye now. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.